your penny. Take that thine is and go thy way. I will give unto the last, even as unto thee. Tell the church, we got to get out of focus on what somebody else is getting. Yes, come on. And I know this parable here is talking about the, the last shall be first and the first shall be last, getting the same reward. But we need to get out of that mindset. Yes. Amen. That that first had. Yes. Amen. That's right. See, it's not hard to get in that mindset. I work harder than the rest of you. That's right. Yes. Okay. But I wasn't hired till the eleventh hour. Yes. Come on. Come on. I wasn't hired till the ninth hour. Yes. Well, I've been beating the bushes all day for you. I've been out in the heat of the day. Yes. That's what you agreed with me for. Yes, yes Lord Jesus. So many folks in the house of God have that same attitude. Yes, yes Lord. That same Help mindset. Yes, yes, I've been here longer than the deal. I should have more. Yes, Jesus. What are you going to work for? Amen. Amen. See that elder brother? He had that same mindset. I've been here with you all the time, Father. Amen. And you ain't killed me something. Let me tell you, if you get everything right with God, God will kill everybody to care for you. All heaven stops when one sinner repents. Amen. Yes. But when they come in, the first thing you want to do is point out their faults. Yes. Amen. Quit looking at their faults and thank God they're at the altar. Yes. Amen. 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 Thank God that they're calling on the name of the Lord. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. For all those that call upon the name of the Lord, the same shall be saved. Amen. 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 See, when hearts dealt with it, they'll come to the altar. Yes. Amen. 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 If we don't exercise the love of God in our heart, what's going to give to the altar? Amen. Amen. You see, if that, think about this. If the elder brother would have seen the younger brother coming before the father, what do you think would have happened to him? By the words that he spoke to his father, what do you think would have happened to him if the elder brother would have got to him first? The same thing some of the church does to the backslider. Some of the things that the church does to the sinner. Somebody come to the people. How dwell the love of the Father in you? It's time to open up the mouths of our compassion to the lost again. Yes. Amen. 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 It's time to quit focusing on what yes. someone has done. Amen. Amen. Where they've been. Yes. yes. And thank God they found their way back to the cross of Calvary. Amen. Amen. Yes. Praise God. You know, it's so easy to look at how somebody hurt us. So we need to look at the faults. Amen. But it's time for us to show the, the world the love of God is in our soul. Amen. Yes. Praise God. These altars are open for all those who want to come. Father, I've done my best to preach what you gave you to the best of my ability. God, I ask you, Lord Jesus, to take this word. Father, you strengthen every heart with it. God, God, show us where we're at tonight with you, God. God, if we need a touch in our soul, God, God, move for us. God, if the love of the Father is weak in us tonight, God, strengthen us, God. God, show us, Lord, today. God, we thank you for your word. We thank you, Father God, for this day. God, I ask you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, to move upon every heart tonight, God, every way. God, you see how the enemy's born. God, prepare the church, God, for the lost to come here. God, prepare the church, God, be ready for the lost. Lord, we love you, we need you today, God. God, we ask you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, to
to say and thank for the Lord. I, I want to testify about the, um, about, you know, the man at work, everybody that I shared with Ben the, the the one who came into the Haiti Christian and stuff. And, um, he, he, he come in before, well, this morning he came in, and, um, well, actually last week, last week he came in, <coughs> and, um, Hallelujah. And uh, he said, I don't fuss and I don't smoke. Glory to God. And I asked God to forgive me. And because I've been witnessing to him. Yes. And um, he, this morning he come in, he was dressed up in his church clothes. And he come in, he come in, Justin was there. And he come in, he didn't, Justin didn't know who he was, but Justin never met him. And he shook hands with Justin and told him it was nice to meet him. Yeah. And um, he said, uh, he said, I'm going to the Lord's house. Mm. And uh, he told Justin, he said, your wife, he said, uh, he said, your wife, I was talking to, to, to me about the Lord. And uh, Justin didn't even know it was him. And then he said something, and Justin was like, was that the same man? I said, yeah. He said, really? He said, yeah. And that's how, you know, mm. when he was preaching, you know, I easily could have said, you know what, he offended me. He said, well, I don't want to pray to him, or I ain't going to talk to him, or he's going to but that's not what Jesus would have done. Mm-hmm. He wouldn't have turned that man away. Like, he wouldn't have said, you know what, because because you said, I mean, we, we're talking about someone who said he hated Christians. He yes, said he hated the church. Yes, he said he would never step forth back in the church, but he didn't need nobody to yes. about God because he was a Bible scholar. We're talking about somebody in that realm. If God can reach down yes. and mm-hmm. save somebody, mm-hmm. turn right. his heart Jesus. completely completely mm-hmm. against yes. Christianity, mm-hmm. then that, who can't be saved? That's why. If Amen. he can't save a hard-hearted person, who, who, if he can save a hard-hearted hard, hard person, who can he save? Nothing's too hard for God. Right. You know, it's not me. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't save him, but Jesus saved him, and I'm thankful that that you know, even though we may not see it sometimes, sometimes we can get discouraged because we don't see God moving. But just because we don't see it, don't mean He's not. Right. And I'm Amen. thankful tonight that that man got saved and gave his life to God. And y'all just keep praying for him that the Lord will continue to do a work in his life and that he can just, you know, put, you know, keep changing. Yes. Amen. Amen. Anybody else tonight?